Hi everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to today's video. I hope you guys are having an awesome day so far. So you must have seen from the title already that this is a lipstick related video. Recently I found some affordable dupes for some high end lipsticks in my collection. So I thought I'll share that with you guys. If you guys are interested, then please continue watching. Okay guys, let's get started. So a few days back, I went through my entire lipstick collection, liquid lipsticks, cream lipsticks, every kind of formula to see how many similar tone, uh, similar shades I have in my collection. And I did manage to find some pretty interesting dupes of some of the high end lipsticks. So today I'm going to share with you some affordable dupes and comparisons of some of the high end lipsticks I own. And I have also compared some high end lipstick shades to each other so that you can see that if you have one of the high end lipsticks, you may not need the other one. So I will show you the swatches on the arms and I will also do side by side comparisons on the screen. So I really hope that this video helps in some way. Without much further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, let's get started. So I just changed the angle a little bit so that it's easier to see the swatches. So the first two lipsticks which I'm going to compare is the Galactic Matte Lip Paint in the shade Demure and Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Freakin' Frack. Here you can see Demure. This is a mauve nude kind of shade. And this one is Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Freakin' Frack. I swatched this recently on my Instagram as well and most of you agreed that the freaking frack looks very similar to demure if you want just this color then you can go in for the color pop freaking frack it's very similar very very comfortable good formula but if you want something absolutely transfer proof then i think galactic demure is better the color pop ultra satin lips as you guys know is not transfer proof but i think i will go for any of them i love both of them equally the next two lip shades are Galactic and Colourpop again. So this is the Galactic Mini Lip Shade in the shade Playful and this is Colourpop Lipstick Stud. So here you have Playful and here is Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip Stud. So these two look also very very similar and both of them are like brownish nudes with a hint of mauve in it. Not too much but mostly they are brownish nudes. And just in case anybody is wondering what is the difference between the freaking frag and stud shade so here it is the this is the shade stud which you can see is a little bit more brownier and this is freaking frag which has a little bit of more mauve in it and stud is a tiny bit deeper and freaking frag is tiny bit lighter very very subtle differences but on the lips they look slightly different so this is Colourpop Stud and Freakin' Frack. The next comparison is between the Kat Von D Everlastic Liquid Lipstick in the shade Lolita 2. And this is the Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Rain. So here you have Lolita 2. And here you have the Colourpop Lipstick in the shade Rain. As you can see the Colourpop Lipstick Rain is slightly slightly bit deeper. But it also has the same terracotta undertone so if you don't want to spend on the Kat Von D Lolita 2 you can go in for this one as well and I think in my opinion this one looks much better on my skin tone the shade Rain but yes of course Kat Von D Lolita 2 is completely transfer proof and whereas the Colourpop ones are not on similar lines there's one more lipstick this is the Huda Beauty shade in Icon and this one is very very similar to Lolita 2 so the Colourpop Lipstick in the shade Rain can also be a very good dupe for Icon. Here is the shade Icon. This shade Icon is very similar to Lolita 2. The next two lipstick which I'm going to compare is the ABH lipstick in the shade Catherine. And this is the Chambord lipstick in the shade 48. So this dupe is going to make sense for people who are in India where Shambor is available. These two lipstick shades are few of my favorite lipstick shades of all time. This is the shade Catherine. It's a very pretty light pinkish reddish kind of a shade. It looks really really nice and it's not too light that it washes out my skin tone. And this is the Shambor shade. Now this Chambord lipstick of mine has gone a little bad so it will not dry down completely but trust me after it dries down 
completely it looks very very similar to the ABH lipstick in Catherine the ABH lipstick is obviously transfer proof matte lipstick very long wearing as well the Chambord lipstick is also really really good I will highly recommend this formula as well this also dries down completely matte and it is really comfortable to wear so if you're in India and you don't want to spend on the ABH lipstick I will highly recommend the Chambord shade for you it's a very pretty shade if you're close to my skin tone and you like pink lipsticks you should definitely pick it up this is like one of my favorite favorite shades and this is how the two compare Next I have one more ABH lipstick dupe and this is the shade Craft. This is also one of my favorite shades from the ABH liquid lipstick line and I have found a very very close dupe of this in the Wet n Wild liquid catsuit lipstick in the shade Berry Recognize. These are really close in terms of their formula and the color as well. The Wet n Wild ones are also very comfortable, super matte, they do not transfer like the ABH ones. So if you have this uh, Wet n Wild one, you probably do not need the ABH one. So here is ABH lipstick in the shade Craft. It's a really, really beautiful berry shade. And here is the Wet n Wild shade Berry Recognize. This looks really, really similar. Both of them here you can see are very pretty berry shades. One of my favorite kind of lipsticks to wear. Next, I have two lipsticks which are sort of in the affordable category. This is a Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip which is slightly more affordable than the Ofra Liquid Lipstick. And the Ofra Liquid Lipstick shade which I'm going to dupe is this one called Santa Ana. This is also one of my favorite shades. But this one is very very similar to this Colourpop Ultra Satin Lip which is the shade Lion King. Here is the shade Santa Ana. And this one is Colourpop Lion King. Both you can see are very very similar in tones. The Colourpop one may be just a tiny bit brighter, that's about it. But both are very similar on the lips also, they look very similar. The formula is also very similar, both are matte looking but they are not transfer proof. I would say the Ofra one is a little bit more long lasting than the Colourpop one. But if you don't have access to the Ofra lipsticks, you can buy the Colourpop one. Uh, which is called Lion King and yeah you can just save a few dollars next for a change I have two high-end lipsticks and two of my favorite lipsticks and I realized recently that they look really really similar so this is the Smashbox liquid lipstick the always on matte lipsticks and this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills this is the shade Big Spender of Smashbox and this one is the shade Catnip and Smashbox is obviously more expensive, Anastasia is a little less expensive. So if you want to save some dollars, then you can go in for the ABH one. Let me show you the swatches. This is a Smashbox Big Spender. And this is ABH Catnip. I would say ABH Catnip is just a tiny, tiny bit lighter. That's about it. They look really, really similar. The Smashbox one I would say is much more comfortable and more long wearing than the ABH one but I think the ABH formula is also pretty good, completely transfer proof and pretty comfortable. The Smashbox one is also completely transfer proof. Next I have a dupe for another Kat Von D lipstick. This is the shade Bauhaus 5 and this is the Wet n Wild liquid lipstick in the shade Nice to Fuchsia and they look so so similar. So here you have Kat Von D. It's a very very bright fuchsia pink shade. I love this lipstick as well. And this is the shade Nice to Fuchsia. They look almost identical. They look so so similar. And I think the formula of the Wet n Wild lipsticks are so good that I think you can just go in for the Wet n Wild ones because they are also very long wearing, completely transfer proof and very very comfortable like the Kat Von D ones. And I have one more lipstick which is pretty similar to this nice to fuchsia shade from Wet n Wild. Is this one from Too Faced. This is the melted matte lipstick in the shade Bend and Snap. So here is the Too Faced shade Bend and Snap. This one also looks really really similar. I would say the Too Faced one is slightly more pink. And that's about it on the lips they look very very similar and the Too Faced lipstick is also transfer proof completely matte and can wear for a decent amount of time 
but then again if you don't want to spend on the Too Faced melted matte lipstick you can just go in for the wet and wild one next let's move on to some reds now I have found these two as to be very very similar both are in the affordable category but obviously the wet and wild one is more affordable so this is the Sephora cream lip stain in 01 one of my favorite reds ever and this is another of my favorite reds this is the shade Missy and Fierce from wet and wild and they look really really similar and the undertone which these both have are so so similar this is the Sephora cream lip stain in the shade 01 this dries down completely matte, very long wearing and transfer proof. And this is the Wet n Wild lipstick in the shade Missy and Fierce. This is also very very long wearing, transfer proof and dries down completely matte. This is how both of them look. As you can see they are very very similar. You definitely don't need both of them. Their formula is pretty similar. Both of them are good, both are comfortable. So if you want to save some money then you can probably go in for the Wet n Wild one. Next I have two more reds which are very very similar to each other. This is a Smashbox Always On Lipstick in the shade Bows and this is the Australis Weller Matte Lip Cream in the shade Nice. Now I have had this fun for quite some time so this formula has kind of gone bad. So the exact formula is not there but I will be able to show you swatches and these shades are really similar. The difference between the Smashbox and the Sephora one which I showed you earlier I feel is that the Sephora one is a slightly more richer. This has a more deeper undertone than the Smashbox one. Both are like very very true reds but the Sephora one is slightly more richer. That's what the difference I feel they have. This is the Smashbox always on in the shade Bows and this is the Australis lipstick in the shade Nice. Now Australis lipsticks are also pretty good they are quite comfortable they dry down matte and they they are also really nicely richly pigmented pretty affordable as well. Just to compare I'll just swatch the Sephora cream lip stain here as well so that you can see the difference. So this is how the Sephora cream lip stain is. Just a tad bit deeper and richer red than the other two. Okay guys, with that I have come to the end of today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it and it was helpful in some way. If you liked it, then please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. And also if you're watching me for the first time, I really hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel. Thank you so much for watching me today. I will see you guys really soon in my next video. Bye.